Well, Cedric, you've certainly had to be patient to get your opportunity in the team here at West Bromwich Albion, but now that you're playing regularly, how good does it feel? Obviously, it feels um, really good to be back on the pitch. I've been waiting a, a long, long time, you know, to, to, to be playing week in, week out. And uh, as a footballer, you can only be happy by playing football, which I'm doing at the moment, so I'm really happy. How much of a challenging period was it for you this last 18 months or so, not being in the team and then being sent out on loan as well to get some game time? Yeah, last season when I first came, you know, it was tough because when you sign uh, for a new club, you expected to play. Well, I was expecting to, to, to be playing and I didn't have that chance. So I went on loan to, to, to be happy again, to be playing football again. So uh, I was still happy and I came back. Obviously, I wanted to play and uh, it's been tough as well. But yeah, as I said, I'm, I'm happy now. When you look back to who you were as a player on the day that you signed for this football club and who you are as a player now sitting here talking to us, how much improvement do you see in your own game? In my own game? Uh, I think I've been uh, working hard, I would say. And I think the fact that being patient and sitting on a bench looking at other people helped me a lot to grow as a player as well because you know when you're not on the pitch you can see a lot more so everything um, has been a lesson even being on the bench I've learned especially last season watching the best players in the country play it was still a dream for me to be to to, to be watching them from so, so close as well so it's been a lesson and I've learned. So Valerian Ismail came in at the start of the season, Cedric, and, and straight away you were part of his plans. So how much of a confidence boost did that give you? Uh, obviously, the manager speaking French, I'm French, so it's, uh, it's a lot better for me. You know, you, we, we can speak all the time about everything, really. He's, uh, he's really open as well. And um, from the first day he came, he told me that he counted on me for this season which was good to hear because I didn't have that chance last season. So it's good to have him as a manager. And Valerian likes to play with a back three, doesn't he? Do you feel as though that suits your style as a defender to, to be part of a back three rather than a two? Yeah, I, I, I like it. Um, I think it's more intense. But I've played uh, as a back three before when I was in Scotland. So I'm a bit used to it. Obviously, it's different with him. But I like it. Uh, I think it suits me and there's all the qualities that I can show as well. So, yeah, I really like it. We've seen you stepping into midfield, bringing the ball down and stepping into the, to the middle of the pitch and also pinging some fantastic diagonal balls as well. Have you always had that in your locker? Yeah, I think I always had it. But uh, as I said, different positions so you can show all the qualities of yours. But yeah, that's something I always had, I'd say. There's a calmness to your game as well, Cedric. You never look rushed on the ball. Yeah. You always look in control. Is that something that's always been a part of your game growing up? Yeah, always. Even outside of the pitch, I'm really, really calm. And, uh, but you know, some managers don't really like it. So uh, growing up, a few, uh, few managers tried to change that part of me. But I mean, that's how I am. So I've tried to change it, but I couldn't. And you made a handful of appearances this season. You made a string of successive ones recently. So how would you rate those performances? Mm, I think I did OK, but um, obviously I'm thinking about the team and the, the results haven't been so, so good. We haven't lost many games, but we haven't won, which that's why we want to, because we want to go back in a prem. So considering the result, I can't really like, only look at my performances, you know. And that result at Coventry, it was, a, it was a crucial one, wasn't it? Like you say, a winless run before then. So has that given you all a, a renewed sense of confidence and belief? Yeah, yeah, of course. Obviously, the past few games, we felt that we could have won those games as well, but we couldn't really score. And um, winning last Saturday was a relief. And I think it gave us uh, all of us a big boost for the next game. And we know that now we can score goals and we'll try to do it again uh, Saturday. Yeah, that game Saturday is against Reading at the Hawthorns, a place where you guys haven't been beaten yet. Yeah. 
in the league this season. How much belief and confidence are you playing with in front of our own home, in front of our own supporters this season? Uh, you know, the supporters have been amazing this season, and that's probably the reason why we haven't lost at home because the yeah the support is amazing at home. We feel uh, super confident every time we step on the pitch. We know the fans are behind us and. Nothing can stop us, really. And staying with the fans, there's been plenty of positivity towards you on social media. Have you seen the messages of support from the supporters towards you? Not really. I can. I, I don't really look at my DMs and I don't really go on Twitter anymore. But I, I, I get some fig, feedbacks sometimes, you know, from my my family and stuff. So it's always it's always a good thing. And just finally, Cedric. New hairdo for Christmas? Looks fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, uh, when I first started my professional career, I had blonde hair and everyone was saying, oh, uh, it's a good luck thing, it's your luck, so you need to do it again. So I just did it again. And you're hoping it keeps on bringing you and Albion luck? I hope so.